Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we were just discussing the BMW ABS fault, which is um, quite common on these E87s. Um, basically going to be explaining what the symptoms are and why it's happening, um, and the approaches for dealing with it. Uh, as you can see, this is my 2007 BMW 120D. Um, it's the facelift with the um, revised lights. Um, so yeah, I'll just get straight into it. Um, this basically started one day when I was driving along. Uh, it mainly happens when you're taking right-hand bends, as it appears to be this side that's the issue. But um, yeah, so when you take right-hand bends, you'll notice that the traction control begins to flicker um, and sometimes will break whilst you're turning around the bend. Um, obviously, this isn't what you want because it can upset the balance of the car if you're cornering hard. Um, it then got worse, um, so it would be every little small bump or so then started to make the car judder forwards and backwards with the, the traction control light flashing. Um, and it progressively got worse, so now this car cannot be driven with the traction control on because it's so intrusive. Um, you're literally just juddering down the road if you try and drive with the traction control on. Um, so yeah, what I've done is I've done a bit of research and basically it's quite a common issue on BMWs and other cars actually, I know the Hyundai's a lot, have get it a lot. Um, but um, essentially what it is, is the, at the end of the drive shaft and that comes into the back of the wheel hub, there is a ring surrounding it, um, which spins obviously with the drive shaft. Um, the ABS sensor or wheel speed sensor, which your speedometer relies on, um, your ABS system, your tyre pressure management system, all that sort of thing. That all relies on that sensor. Um, the sensor me measures the speed that the ring turns. Um, and what happens is the ends of the drive shaft actually start to corrode and swell. Um, so the circumference of the drive shaft increases, which then stretches the what are called the, re the reluctor rings on the end of the shaft. Um, this then actually starts to make contact with the wheel speed sensor that is reading its speed um, and this then causes the issues with the traction control etc um, it's got to a point now where I'm actually getting ABS faults as well um, which is another common symptom um, but as, as I said before it's nothing to worry about um, usually if you turn the engine off and um, turn it on again and start to drive you'll notice that the ABS light warning light actually turns off um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it. I'm going to do a video on how to replace the relaxer rings because I think that's important um, with all the correct specifications on the torque wrenches and that sort of thing. But that's just a quick overview of what the issue is. Um, so if you're experiencing it, don't panic because it is fixable. Um, I went to BMW for a quote about it and um, they essentially quoted me £1,700 for two new drive shafts. So which definitely isn't really worth it when you can buy a reluctor ring off Amazon for four pounds. Um, so yeah, that's that's it guys. Um, just a quick explanation of what it is. Um, the, the video on how to repair it will come later. So make sure to subscribe to the channel for that. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, I know there are people that have this issue with the other BMW models and stuff. So this does apply to those as well. It's all, all to do with the same parts. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.